Hi guys, welcome. Have you ever thought if we live without internet, how the life is? Very hard, right? What if internet and electricity is not available in the whole world for three to four months? Just imagine that. A research paper submitted by Sangeeta from University of California explains that this kind of situation is coming to our world in the next few months by Sunstorm. In this video, we are going to see what is Sunstorm and how it will affect our internet connection. We are going to see this in our video. If this video is informative, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now get into the world. This paper explains a storm from sun will affect our earth and it will damage our internet and electricity for a certain period. Okay, first we see what is sunstorm. The sun is mainly composed of superheated gases called plasma surrounded the core and sometimes due to a disturbance caused on its surface that can be events leading to massive outburst of energy. Across the outermost layer of the sun called the heliosphere. That by affecting the whole solar system, that outburst of energy from the heliosphere or what is known as solar storms. So this solar storm waves will come to earth within 13 hours to 5 days of time. That magnetic particles will affect our world. Actually, our earth atmosphere will protect us from magnetic particles. But the particles can interact with our earth's magnetic field induce strong electric currents on the surface and affect man-made structures. The first recorded solar storm occurred in 1859 and it reached Earth in about 17 hours. It affected the telegraph network and many operators experienced electric shocks. A solar storm that occurred in 1921 impacted New York telegraph and railroad system and another small-scale storm collapsed the power grid in Quebec, Canada in 1989. A 2013 report noted that if a solar storm similar to 1859 won't hit the US today, about 20 to 40 million people could be without power for 1 to 2 years. And the total economic cost will be 6 to 2.6 trillion. In this way, this magnetic field will affect our internet connection. Actually, our most of the connections are working in undersea cables. If you don't know how the internet works, in previous video, I explained how the internet is working. Check the description. Research paper explains that cable will affect most of the part so there is lot of chance to affect internet connections and electricity too. The countries which is under lower attitudes are at the lower risk. So Asian countries are under lower risk. But the countries like USA will get affected by the waves. This is not confirmation but compared to higher latitude countries lower attitude countries will affect lower risk. So how we can save our internet? NASA and European countries working in this and getting some ideas like shutdown strategy that can help minimize the connectivity loss during and after a solar storm impact. Similar to how we power off power grids, a temporary internet shutdown can protect our equipment during a solar event and ensure the continuation of service. NASA have a satellite around our earth to find the solar storm and send the information before 13 hours. So we can prepare for that and hope uh, we will prepare and rectify our affected areas soon. If the solar storm is heavy, definitely it will affect our internet connection in sea and electricity. But local internet service will not get damaged. Based on the storm strength, we can decide how the world will handle this storm. If the video is informative, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'll see you in another interesting video. Bye-bye.